So you may have heard Tesla is removing their ultrasonic sensors from their Model 3 and Model Ys uh, as of October 2022. I'll be honest, I'm a little pissed. Why? Well, I just paid $6,000 for the enhanced autopilot upgrade for my base Model 3 that I purchased here at the end of July. 60% of the features of the enhanced autopilot product are going to be disabled when I take delivery of my vehicle. Why? Well, they use the functionality found in the ultrasonic sensors. So Tesla has announced they are disabling that functionality until Tesla Vision comes up to speed and can replace the functionality that was in the ultrasonic sensors with Tesla Vision. So let's break down what the removal of these ultrasonic sensors really means, what features are we losing, when are we losing them, and what Tesla models are impacted by this change. When I placed my order for my new Model 3, I was pretty stoked to find out that Enhanced Autopilot had made a return oh, two months prior to that. Enhanced Autopilot consists of five different features. Navigation on Autopilot, Auto Lane Change, and Auto Park, Summon, and Smart Summon. Those last three features, Auto Park, Summon, and Smart Summon, heavily rely on the functionality within the ultrasonic sensors. So since Tesla is removing the ultrasonic sensors, they've decided to disable the Auto Park, Summon, and Smart Summon features until they get Tesla Vision up to speed. I mean, who does that with a product? That would be like buying something off of Amazon that advertised, hey, these five features are included. And when you get it, you discover that Three of those five features aren't included in the product, but you still paid full price for it. It's kind of messed up. So what exactly are these ultrasonic sensors? I mean, these are the 12 little dots, six on each bumper, that detect how close you are to a specific object. They do exactly what it sounds like. They're sensors. They emit sound waves at a very high frequency and wait for that sound to be returned back to the sensor. This gives your Tesla the capability of seeing how close you are to something. Quite frankly, I use it all the time. I use it in my day-to-day -day driving when I'm backing up, looking at my uh, backup camera, and the sensors tell me how close I am to a specific object as I'm backing up. I use it when I'm parking our Tesla in the garage. It's full of clutter and it helps me understand how close I am to the uh, junk that's sitting at the front of our garage. They're actually very accurate. And like I said, I use these features all the time. So why is Tesla removing this functionality? Well, it really comes down to cost savings, right? Less parts to drive, less hassles in the manufacturing process, and that means cost savings for Tesla, which of course they're not going to pass on to you and me as the consumer. Now the real story here is the capabilities that are found in the ultrasonic sensors today are going to be replaced with Tesla Vision. So what's Tesla Vision? Quite simply, it's the camera-based system that's in your vehicle right now that powers autopilot and full self-driving. Look, I get it. Tesla Vision is the way of the future. Tesla has announced that. Remember, Tesla Vision replaced the radar system that was in all Teslas, what, two years ago? Now the question is, will Tesla Vision be able to replace the functionality that currently exists within the ultrasonic sensors? Tesla says it will, and I have faith in the Tesla engineers that they know what they're doing. The problem I have is this functionality isn't there today within Tesla Vision. So they removed a feature to be replaced by another feature that isn't currently available. Makes sense, right? So which vehicles are impacted by the removal of these ultrasonic sensors? Well, all Model 3s and all Model Ys that are being manufactured here at the start of October 2022 have the ultrasonic sensors removed. You can actually go out to Tesla's website and take a look at the picture of the Model 3 and Model Y on those pages. And you'll see that the uh, little dots on the, the front and rear bumpers have been removed from the picture. Model S, Model X has a little bit more time. Uh, Tesla is saying they will remove that functionality sometime in early 2023. So what if you currently own a Tesla that has these sensors installed? Well, no major change right now, but expect the functionality for those ultrasonic sensors to be disabled at some point in time, probably in early to mid 2023. You just get to live with the little dots on the front and back bumper that have zero functionality. As for me, I was debating reaching out to Tesla to change my order, to have them remove the enhanced autopilot upgrade that I added. I decided not to. 
I really didn't want to risk changing my order, which could potentially impact my delivery date. I purchased Enhanced Autopilot primarily for two features. That was the Navigate on Autopilot and the Auto Lane Change. The other three features are kind of gimmicky, Auto Park, Summon, and Smart Summon. Probably not something that I would use on a regular basis. You know, the thing is, they would be there if I ever needed them. And quite honestly, they'll be there at some point. So uh, if I don't have them on day one, I'm not going to fret about it too much. Now, granted, I could remove it from my order right now and wait for the full product to be available once they work out the kinks within Tesla Vision. But that means I've got to come up with six grand on my own to pay for the upgrade. At least this way, when I've included it as part of the cost of my build, I can include that in the financing. So that's my story and why I'm a little bit upset right now. It just irks me to no end that I paid $6,000, which is a pretty significant cost for a feature that is going to have 60% of the product disabled. It just, I scratch my head on that. I don't get it. Anyway, I'm looking forward to taking delivery of my new vehicle and playing around with the two features that are still available in Enhanced Autopilot. And I will be sure to keep everyone updated on how that's going. Hope you found the video helpful and we'll see you guys in the next video.